Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is JT from Above and Below the Belt. I want to talk about the well, the breaking news, whatever. Of uh, Mike Garcia uh, might be. Uh, I mean, the match one Eddie Hearns off him uh, um, a big number of money to come to match room and fight on the zone. And um, you know, um, well, that's one of the reasons why he haven't came back. But at the same time, you know, Earl Spence. You know, uh, had some dude with that too at the same time. I still stand by that. You know, I know he had a um, a sparring match with uh, I forgot the dude's name. Um, um, but um, but this this uh this this news right here is real. I think it's good for him. You know, what I'm saying. I mean, he earned it. He been he been doing his thing for a long time too. You know, what I'm saying. And he and he's you know, you know he's getting you know he's getting older. You know what I'm saying? He should want to uh, somewhat cash out or uh, make the big fights now. And, and You know what I'm saying? And even though he got one loss on his record, and I don't think that one loss is really going to um, – it really is not going to define his career. He did jump up one-way class to fight Errol Spence Jr. I mean, the so-called uh, – a.k.a. the best welterweight in boxing right now, maybe. That's either between Chance Crawford or Errol Spence right now, right? But – um. But at the same time, one loss don't make you or break you. You know what I'm saying? It just got you, you know, it might make you a better person, a better man, a better fighter. You know what I'm saying? I would definitely say that. But this the zone contract from Eddie Hearns, um, I think I think it might be good for Mikey. Or it might not be good for Mikey. You never know because he's still thinking about it. I mean, Al Heyman, I don't think Al, I, I think Al Heyman offered him, uh, offered him some money too at the same time not to go over there or not to, not to go to top rank either. You know, Al Heyman, you know what I'm saying, is behind the scenes. You don't know what he offered uh, 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 Mikey Garcia. Because, um, you know, Al Heyman, you don't have no kind con- you know, you, he's free. Like with Mikey Garcia's with PBC, he's free. He's free to go anywhere he want. He's free to roam around. But if he would, if he got a contract with uh, Eddie Hearns, he don't have that freedom. But, of course, you might get the money. But how much money we we... They saying we don't know. They don't mention it in in, in, in on, you know, on any website or the website I'm on or boxingscene.com or anything like that. It is saying that this has come from Robert Garcia, uh, Mike Garcia brother, right? And uh, uh, do I believe him or not? It don't matter if I uh, uh, if I believe him or not. I, I know I, I believe that Matchroom Eddie Hearn, Matchroom or Eddie Hearns did offer him a, uh, some money to come over there to, on to the matchroom uh promotional company and uh to fight on the zone you know what i'm saying and um but the thing about it is with that is i think while mikey is probably uh, think, uh is thinking of, still thinking about having made having uh sat it having signed a dotted line yet because of who he's gonna fight over there if he go down to 140 and if he was if he stayed at 147 who he's gonna fight over there who who do Eddie Hearns have at 147 or 140? You know what I'm saying? To who who he's gonna fight? Because at the same time, I know he's trying to make money, but he's trying to have he's trying to um he's trying to I think he's still trying to get up there to the pound for pound, be the pound for pound um no one or be um try to make it in the Hall of Fame or just trying to be a legendary fighter too at the same time. Don't don't get that twisted for one minute because he don't think that he's got. Well, he got 40 some fights or something like that, or almost like 30 some knockouts or something. So, he ain't doing it for just to be doing it. Of course, he's doing it for money, but he's doing it too at the same time. Just to, he, he want his name out there. He want his name to be talked about in, in, in when he retires and stuff like that. Or, you know what I'm saying? Just like Muhammad Ali or uh, Sugar Ray Leonard or Sugar Ray Robinson or, you know what I'm saying? Just. You know, amongst the great like Floyd Mayweather, you know what I'm saying? They was one, they was calling him one time for May- the the Mexican Floyd Mayweather, right? But um, but the thing about it is this contract, man. Um, you know, um, that's why I think he's still thinking about it. And then if he's with Al Hamid, he still can free to roam around. But at the same time, when you were Al Hamid, you could still be free to uh, think about what your next move can be, and you could, like I say, you could roam around. To get that big offer now, if Eddie Hearns is offering him a real big contract more than uh, uh, Al Heyman, then hey, um, hey, I mean, it's it's all about what Mike Garcia wants. But then at the end of the day, too, at the same time, he still want to fight the best fighters out there because this is what he was preaching when he was fighting 
before and after, uh, uh, well, especially before when he fought Earl Spence Jr. He said he won't fight the best out there. You know what I'm saying? If he go now, I'm, I know he was talking. I know top rank. He was in it. Uh, him and Bob Aaron, which don't have a good relationship, but I guess they they, they both are businessmen, but they know what this can can do. I mean, if they uh, if he fight Lomachenko, if he fight Terence Crawford, that be that's a big money fight right there too at the same time. But order for him that but order for that to happen, he would have to be with top rank, which which him and Bob Aaron he had to uh, he had uh, Mike Garcia had to get a lawyer, he had to sue uh, Bob Aaron to get out that contract, right? And I guess he had to give Bob Aaron some money to get out that contract. I guess you know, say if I'm not mistaken, right? And um, do I see him going over to the top rank? I don't see him going over there compared to. I think he go. I think he go to uh, Eddie Hearn the zone compared to going over there to top rank, which is Bob Aaron is the boss, right? Um, but Mike Garcia, Mike Garcia ain't stupid because I think what he I think what he's gonna do is he don't want to fight no he don't want a contract for no six or seven years. I don't think it's gonna be that long. I don't think it might be five. It might be two, three, three, two or three fights. You know what I'm saying? That might be with uh, top rank too. If 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 um, if uh, Mike Garcia do do agreement, I uh, do do a um, um, a contract or sign a contract or anybody. Because Mike Garcia, he been he been in the game for a long time. He knows the game. He knows the ins and out, especially in the ring and outside of the ring and stuff like that. So that's one thing I respect about Mike Garcia. He do handle his business. His uh his business outside of the ring, which has come to him fight inside the ring. You see what I'm saying? Which um which um you know Terrence Crawford having I don't think he figured that out yet, or maybe he just maybe he's maybe he is figuring that out right now, Terrence Crawford, because he does he does his business inside the ring, but outside the ring, that's kind of he's suspect, man. So that's why Mike Garcia is in the position that he's in now instead of Terrence Crawford is not in the position that he's in as Mike Garcia is in, right? To to get big money contracts, I think. Uh, well, this is not Terrence Crawford. This is not the con this is not the conversation to talk about Terrence Crawford. But, but Mike Garcia, man, um, um, he's gonna make up his mind what he wanna do. He's still with PBC right now, but he, he I mean, if it's a two or three con uh, fight deal, I mean, shoot, hey, take it. But the, on top of that, but who he's gonna fight? You know what I'm saying? But. But if he do go over to the zone, then if he don't fight nobody, then we know it's you know he's just trying to really cash out, you know what I'm saying. But not saying that if if they did, if they didn't have big uh, big uh, names out there with the zone, he wouldn't fight them because he fought Earl Spence Jr. You see what I'm saying? So, but certain people he did dodge like Terrence Crawford, and uh, well, some people say he dodged Lomachenko, but I don't know about that. That's kind of that's up for grabs right there. But Terrence Crawford, he did. He didn't want to fight Terrence Crawford because he be because Terrence Crawford him. Him and Terrence Crawford got history. He beat, beat Terrence Crawford beat him in the amateurs. I think uh, one or two times, if I'm not mistaken, right? But at the same time, man, uh, you know uh, that's what's taking a that's that's somewhat of what Mike Garcia is taking a long time to get back in the ring too. He's trying to get, handle business, you know, handle, handle business at the same time. So, what do y'all guys think about um uh, about this? And you know, and I'm not trying to be in his pockets, but um, but at the same time, man, uh, money talking bullshit walks sometimes, right? What y'all think about this uh, deal? Do you think he's gonna stick with PBC? Do you think he's gonna talk go with top rank? Do you think he's gonna go with Matchroom and fight on the zone? You know, and uh, do you think Al Hamer probably offer him some money, and that's why he's still trying to figure out if he still want to go with the uh, Matchroom uh, with Eddie Hearn uh, and fight on the zone? Because he know the fights with PBC, even with top rank, but ain't no fighters with uh, with the zone. So leave a comment at the bottom of my page, subscribe to my page, like my page, hit the notification bell for new videos from me. This is JD from Above and Below the Belt. Bye-bye.